thought I'd do a little video. Um, so here it is, all set up. A little board that I've made up there. It's kind of dark, but so we got an RJ11 going into our new box. There's all our connectors, if you can see them. And there's the inside with the new board. Fits nice, looks good. So the idea is I power it up here. It powers up, this powers up, everything powers up. And there we go, we're live. So I've set all the timers for uh, 440, so right away here you'll see them all go off. Um, now if I touch that, it only updates every five seconds, so that's our min-max, touch it again, and it should go back to that. And when we're in there, if we push and hold it, so we've got two temps there. It should be, but we've got no audio yet. And our min-max will reset. And of course, if we touch our pH, We'll reset them. Um, these aren't plugged in, so if I push one of them, nothing will happen. And those are pumps right now. They're all set. It's short time, so. And our feeder went off, and the schedule started up. So all the timers work. Our schedules. And yeah, if I touch that. It'll just flash because there's nothing to show. And if we go into our settings here, as you can see, things load much. I can't adjust anything now. Well, I guess I gotta center that. But anyways, because we're in a fade. And there's our weather settings. We'll turn the lunar on and off. Go into our cloud target. And if you read that on the side, you'll see what this does. Um, there's our other 16 or 8 channels. So you can toggle between them. And our other settings. Here we've got a low level for lightning and a high level. And this is a multiplier. Um, here we got a cloud duration and the lightning strikes. So it works nice. And there's our heater settings. One thing I don't like about this uh, touch screen is sometimes I touch here, but I don't know if you saw that number flashed from 70 to 69 because of that, but what can you do? And there's our calibrate temps. And they're not available. That was slow again because it's on the five second timer, so it depends what time you hit the button. And there's our pH settings, same with our pH readings. That's every change or offset. Wait till the next reading, which is five seconds. Because of the communications, I yeah, I maybe I didn't. I guess I got a code problem there. But anyways, it does work. If we go back in, it should be. Oh, <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Well, okay. Anyways, here's our feeding. And here we can turn the feeder on or off. And clock settings, our schedules. So yeah, it's all the same here. This all loads nice and quick. There's all of them set to the same time, but they just went off. And power schedules display now I haven't updated this yet but if we push over here there's how we change our slider colors so that is a glitch the first time you come in here um, you have to do it twice but then when you come back in it's fine it's after a power up so I gotta solve that but anyway so if we turn them all to red for instance good enough go back into a slider and now they're all red these I haven't updated yet but they'll turn red as well so yeah pick the colors you want it's kind of cool
And I think that's about it. We're dosing. Um, I just changed slightly how this works. There's a manual dose. Um, so if I push it, we run it, run it again. And now it dropped two doses. So. And our feeding's two minutes away. So yeah, that's basically it.